Whoa! That's some cool lighting. What's that noise? Uh, just your closet glowing, girl. No big deal. Don't you just hate it when that happens? Where's that light coming from? Your closet. I mean, outside too, but... Oh, okay. Oh! Oh god! Oh! <laughs> Chapter 4! <laughs> that was very abrupt. Hashtag cold cut. <laughs> April Ryan always traveling in underwears. Yeah! I haven't- I mean, that hasn't uh, happened since her dream at the beginning. Again. Oh dear. Not now. Girl, you need to get some clothes. <sighs> I mean, I, you, I guess you couldn't because it was your this closet. Is a dream. I really do because if Cortez didn't open a shift, who did? Ah, shit. And how will I get home again on my own? Okay. You should check some place where you can get like a towel, like a, no like a dream. robe. And I'm guessing this is Mercuria. Yeah. It smells like it, like a mix between fresh flowers and cow dung. Hm. There's some kind of part going on in there. All right, let's check my, let's check some diary entries. All right, Sunday night or Monday morning? I'm not sure which it is, but it's late. A strange sound, a strange sound, Jesus, a strange sound wakes me up in the middle of the night. And when I open my eyes, my room is filled with a cold blue light coming from the closet. Oh, okay, obviously a dream. No question about it. Things like this don't happen in real life, except in my life they do all the time. There was a shift in my closet, and before I knew it, I found myself here in Arcadia. Again. And while well, last time, Cortez helped me through and back, this time I'm afraid that there will be no help forthcoming. I'm on my own. And I don't like it. Okay. The Journeyman. The Journeyman. Very appropriate, though it really should have been the Journeywoman. Nice. Uh, I could- I could go into darkness! That sounds like a terrible idea. I'm gonna do it anyway. Nah. <laughs> I'm not about to walk around in a strange city in the middle of the night wearing nothing but... this. Okay, but you would rather that than going into a tavern? Where, like, a million people are? I mean, yeah, I get it, You'd, it'd be very scary, but, uh... I, I guess it's a chance to go steal some clothes, I don't know. I would feel really embarrassed and scared walking into a group of dudes. In a, in an inn, fireplace. Uh, let's look at some things. Comfy chair. That looks like a really, really comfortable chair. Oh, they dancing. They line dancing. They're definitely having fun. That's fun. It's their first date. I can tell. Huh. They're a cute couple. I wonder if romance is different here, or if the rituals are the same as back home. I mean, magic must play some part in it. Mm. Cute couple. Cute couple. Fireplace. Open fires are so enchanting, romantic, and inspiring. Shell. Assorted bottles, herbs, and spices. They don't look so different from farmers and craftsmen back home. It's a small world. Worlds. Small worlds. Hmm. Honest working man out for a pint or two. Oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend- Excuse me. Oh god, she's leaving. Oh no. Please stay. Excuse me. Hello? Hi, hello, do you work here? Oh god, here? she's right in my face. Do I work here, child? I'm the owner. I own and operate the Journeyman Inn. There should be the Journeywoman. I'm very sorry, ma'am. I'm very sorry, ma'am. Your apology is more than enough for me, child. What may I do for you? Uh... What's your name? What's your name? Benrima Salmon. Ooh, that's I'm the owner and proprietor of this inn. I bought it with money earned through honest trade in the Southlands. Tobacco, wine, slaves. That is where I'm from. The Southlands. Okay. I'm April. April Ryan. Well met, April Ryan. Have you come to meet someone, a handsome young suitor, perchance? I hope not. Also, no I'm such luck, I'm afraid. I'm here more, more by accident than anything else. Ah, <laughs> no accident, April. Fate. Fate delivered you here tonight. You are strong in fate, are you not? Oh. Um, is there a party going on? Can I get in on this? Is there a party going on? 
Is there a... Ugh, child. Do you not know? It is the Feast of the Balance. Have you never taken part in the celebration? Unfortunately, no. I'm... not a party person. For as long as I can recall, the feast has lasted three whole days and nights, and everyone celebrated openly. Now, this year, there is great concern about the Vanguard and their supporters. So this year, the Feast of the Balance is celebrated inside, behind closed doors and for one night only. But there's still much food and drink, <laughs> and you are welcome to join if you so please. I don't think so. I don't know anybody here. You're not with the Vanguard, are you? No. No, I'm from... somewhere else. Far away. So it would seem. Well, if you feel up to it, child, you're welcome to join in the celebration. Thanks. Sorry. Hmm. Thought we were snacking. Okay, heading into the night, all sleepy time for tacos. Going to bed early. Good night, Taco. Thanks for hanging out. It was really nice to see you and hang out. I'll be sure to catch your streams. Um, I'll have to ask you when your next stream is. <laughs> but yeah, have a good night, have a good sleep, and I'll see you later. Why do you celebrate the Feast of the Balance? You are a stranger to our customs, indeed. The Balance? You do know about the balance, do you not? Sure. The balance between magic and science. I know about the balance. The balance of all, child. Everything is in balance, and the Guardian watches over the balance and us. We celebrate the Feast of the Balance to give our thanks to the balance and to the Guardian. Mm. If our devotion to the balance falters, if we lose our faith in the Guardian, then we are inviting chaos to destroy us. This is what the Vanguard is doing. Inviting chaos. They are dangerous. Hmm. What's the Vanguard doing? What's the Vanguard doing to destroy the balance? They are not yeah, doing anything you. Thank you, Taco. to destroy the balance. But they destroy people's faith in the balance. They speak to the people, telling them how the Sentinel... The fathers are holding our world back. And that if we were to use the balance to our advantage, we could return to the old ways, the ways of the ancient earth before the divide. Vanguard promised the people power and wealth and happiness, but they intend only destruction. What do you mean by strong in fate? Mm -hmm. You shape your own fate, and not the other way around. You are what the dark people call a wave. Mm. How can you tell? I am not only an innkeeper, child. I am a seer taught by my mother, mm. who was taught by her mother before her. And so it goes back to the dawn of our world, to the dawn of magic. What's a seer? You don't know, April? What's a seer? A seer? Who is someone who can tell something about people? About events? About the past and the present and the future? Just by looking at you. When I look at you, I see... That's a very Germanic way of... Uh, of what? like... What? What do you see? That? That's cool. Most people are drawn along by events. By fate. Like a carriage after a horse. But some people know how to steer the horse. To change paths at will. You are such a person. But there is more. Hmm. Okay. Tell me more about my future. Tell me more about my future. It is strange. I see many paths, but they are all dark. I cannot tell much except that you are strong in fate, 
and strong in the balance. Interesting. And you are strong in magic, too. Ooh. Magic? That can't be right. I'm not... I don't know anything about magic. You do not have to know about magic to be strong in magic. If you ever learn how to harvest your talents, you will be a strong artisan. Oh, okay. Artisan? Tell me more. Where have you been schooled, child? Have you forgotten your lore? No, give me the deep lore. My lore? Yeah, well, I haven't really had much use for You my are a strong, independent woman, April. Lately. So true. <laughs> the artisan is the most powerful of magic users. Oh. She is able to shape magic and to use it by force of will alone. An artist can use magic shaped by others, mold it into new magic, new art. That's cool. A magician, or sorcerer, witch, warlock, can read and write incantations, drawing spells from the power of words. And the alchemist can create magic potions. Okay. He is the least of the four. Anyone with proper education can be an alchemist. The other three require some form of talent for magic. Oh. Thank you. I am at your service any time, child. I love her so much. I am afraid I must go take care of my guests now. Enjoy yourself. That's interesting. If there's like four magic users, that's an interesting way of looking at it. Like sorcerer, alchemist, warlock, and artisan. Very interesting. I love you. Um. All right. Uh. Well, uh, maybe I should go. I talked with someone, so that's good. Uh, can I take anything? I don't think I can actually click on anything that would require me to take it. Uh, I could go in here. There are two oh. large rooms in the back, and they're both crammed with people. Oh, okay. So, can't go in the back. Mm, is there another part of the game I could go to? Honest working man out for a pint or two. I mean, could I... Filled with ale, probably. They never have beer in these taverns. Just ale. Anything I can do here? Let's see, there's a chair. Fire. Can I set anything on fire? I can melt my ring. Uh, gotta go to bed now. Have a good night and a great stream. Good night, everyone. Have an amazing day and night and keep, sa keep safe. Thank you, Panda! Thanks so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. It was really nice to see you. I hope you have a good night, good sleep. I'll be on my way eventually. But we'll probably- we'll, I'll probably go for another hour. Maybe- maybe an hour. Okay, I shifted. Went to the inn. Need clothes. Man, I wish you could have told me where I can get some clothes. I mean, I could play the flute. Will that get me in the party? That's a party time thing. Play the flute. For fun, maybe I'll play it. No? I guess I just leave. Guess I'll leave. Uh, push pin. Driver, gold ring. Can I give it to the couple? Use this ring to signify your love. Mm, candy, pocket watch, screwdriver. You have a talent for music, young lady. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be an artisan, aren't you? Oh my God, she's a musical genius. <laughs> That would be so good. Uh, look at this graph! Uh, I don't think I- I, I don't- nothing really seems to be screaming to me yet, so I, I think I might leave. Seeing as I don't know the city, and I'm dressed in oh. my underwear, I'd really feel better staying inside until tomorrow morning. Okay, I'm where I'm meant to be. I hope. 
Okay, so I have to do something here. So that probably means uh, let's just look around again. Cute couple. Cute couple. Okay. It's a very comfortable Comfy chair. chair. Enchanting. Enchanting. Uh, assorted they? bottles, herbs. Assorted, bo assorted, assorted bottles, herbs, and spices. Wish I could. Oh lo uh, no, it's a local. He can't look at anything. Is there a hidden exit? Cause she went that way. No. Maybe if I walk over here. Oh, hello? Hi! Thank uh, you, April Ryan. Hi. What? There you got long is fingers, no dude. time here, but there soon will be time for you and I. Time enough to be sure. You are speaking to me, April Ryan. We have spoken. Oh my god, are you the guy from Mandalorian? And how do you know my name? Who are you? Have we not met yet? I was sorry then for confusing you. I will be Abnaxus of the Venar, ambassador to the Iread Council in Marcuria for a time. I think I would have remembered you if we'd met. Yeah. Who told you my name? You did. You are saying your name to me, April Ryan. Huh. In this moment, you tell me your name. You question why I know your name, and you speak to me the blessings of the balance for my long journey home. I don't know who you are, dude. I'm so sorry. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. Weird. It is difficult for us too, April Ryan, to understand you. Are they a race we, people, the Venar? The Venar are not perceiving time like your people. Hmm. In this moment, we are everywhere. In this moment, we are nowhere. So time is different but for them. But there is a veil. Beyond this veil, we are not seeing, but you have. You will be seeing. You huh. are seeing. What veil? The veil created in chaos, by chaos, with chaos. It is a dark presence in our future, yes, future. A dark veil which hides the things that have been and will be. What's all this got to do with me? It was late. You were tired. We have talked in the morning when you come to visit me. Now you understand everything. Thank you, April Ryan. The mm. blessings of the balance to you, too. Did you just invite me to your home? I will. Okay. I did. I invite you to my home, April Ryan. My home was in the Mercuria City Green, and you will find it in the morning before chaos came. I am explaining everything, and you understood. Huh. It seems I've already accepted your invitation, so I guess I don't have a choice. The only invitation talk a lot. Okay. That is what you said. Good night. You will sleep well. Okay. Thank you. What a strange creature. What a strange creature. I've seen a lot of strange invitations uh, in my life. Only a month ago, somebody, I didn't even know the guy particularly well, invited me to his suicide party with a cheerful card reading Steve's last hurrah. Oh my god, a suicide party? That's terrible. I've been invited to a wedding between a 99-year-old terminally ill woman and a highway construction automaton. I've been invited to the senior prom by my best friend's father. Ew? Gross? But I think tonight brought the strangest invitation of them all. This is by far, this is the, my, the first time I've accepted an invitation before being asked by a creature whose grasp of grammar ranges from poor to non-existent and not realizing I did until after the fact. Unlike the invitations mentioned above, however, I'll probably honor this one. Strange or not, he may be able to answer some of my questions. Is there a dress code for the suicide party? Oh no. So, I can leave now? I'll stay here until tomorrow morning if I can. Alright, well I'll just walk around. Apparently walking around just advances the thing. I can't go off screen. Can I go in here yet? I really am getting tired. I should find somewhere comfortable to sit down. Rest okay. My Rest my legs. 
Gotta, gotta sleep on this chair. In your underwear. In your PJs. The comfy chair. He's a good comfy chair. Alright, time to snooze. Oh shit. Oh no! Cortez? Oh god, they stripped him too. He, they're putting him to be the guardian. They're forcing him to be the guardian. Oh no! Or maybe they're experimenting on him. That would make sense. Maybe they're experimenting. Wait, did she just gain clothes? No. Wake up, child. She just she just gained pants, it looks like. Maybe it's just the shadows. I think it's just the shadows. Hello? Good morning? <sighs> Sorry, I guess I fell asleep. I guess so, girl. What time is it? Oh no, just shadows, okay. It is morning. We need to clean before we open for breakfast, so I had to wake you. Oh. I slept right through the party? Oof. It seems so. You did not stir even when everyone was leaving. She was very tired. Oh well, I feel pretty good considering. Hm. You look a little pale, but it's nothing a good porridge won't fix. I really love her. She's like the mom character. She's great. Can I do anything? I can. Um, alright, porridge sounds great. Uh, they look else? empty, and after last night's shindig, that's no wonder. Oh, fair. Let's go to the back. The back rooms are both empty. Oh, that's cool. Can I not go in them? Uh, comfy chair, fire's out. Nothing but ashes left of the fire now. Uh, okay, sure. Assorted bottles and spices and herbs. Yeah, I guess I'll go talk to her again. I look at it. It's the innkeeper. She looks busy. Too bad. Talk with her. Not to sound rude, but I've had my fill of her for the moment. Oh no! F. Alright, uh, wait, did they leave something? No. Uh, what's this? That is just the chair. It was pretty comfy to sleep in. I'm a little stiff, but that's only to be expected, I guess. Let's just walk around a bit. I don't really want to leave yet. Make me porridge. Barrels. Barrels. Uh, oh, no, it's just the exit. You will not go. You will not go out in this outfit, young lady. You will get dressed, girl. God, can I actually leave? Really? Do you intend to walk about in okay, that good. outfit, child? It is day. It would not be proper. It's all I have. Come. We will find something more suited to a young lady about the city. I love her. I love her so much. Hi, Caroline! How are you doing? Oh my god, can I just say, at, since joining your Discord server, or the Discord that you're a part of, that's probably one of the most, like, fun and just, like, high, like, just good energy Discords I've been in. Like, everybody just seems super friendly and I really like it. How do I look? Like, we stole your outfit from, uh, Stark and just gave it to you? Well, it'll have to do for now. You do not have the most womanly of forms, but I'm certain you will fill out in time with the right diet. Ouch. Thanks. Thank you for the clothes, for everything. You will have time aplenty to thank me while you are cleaning plates and cutlery, child. That's fair. I'm sorry. Work? Thanks, they're awesome. Yay! Those clothes do not come free, child. Nor does a night spent sleeping good, before how are the you? fire. I'm good. I'm not asking much. Only for a helping hand in cleaning. I'm making some good progress in this game. Um, have you ever heard of uh, the Longest Journey and or the Dreamfall series? Work? Me? Excuse me? I mean, where else would she work, right? Like, if, if we're really talking about parallels here, she did work at a cafe. I love it. What would what else would be the parallel? All right, tell me where to start. All right, tell me where to start. I want a I want a cooking and cleaning mini game. The mugs from the back room. Can do. I'll go get them. Look at her go. I should probably save soon. You did good work for me today, child. More than was required. Here you are. Some coin to help you out. 
<laughs> Work? Me? Nah, lady, we're literally Jesus. And keep the clothes. Mm -hmm. You seem to have grown into them already. I got some pay. That's nice. No, I never heard of this. Oh, they're good. They're, um... So I, uh... I think there's three games. Um, there's The Longest Journey, which was this one. It came out in, like, 95, I think. Uh, the sequel is called Dreamfall, The Longest Journey. And then there's also a game called Dreamfall Chapters. Um, I think it's all centers around the world of... That they're presenting here, which is, like, a magic world and also Earth. But Earth is called Stark, and the magic world is called Arcadia. Um, I'm assuming it focuses around the world, but has different protagonists, because I don't think our current protagonist is in the second one. Or at least she's not the main character. Um, can I talk with you? Thanks for the money. Excuse me? Yes? Oh, it is you. It is you! Tis I! <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, child. Okay, so I can come back and talk with her. That's cool. Jesus doesn't get his hands dirty. Jesus was AKing, right? He must have jewels and gold and servant and machine guns as far as the Americans are concerned. Uh, Alright, well. How much coin do I have? Gajit, I wear if you have coin. I got a whole handful of these Arcadian iron coins. <gasps> I can take it to the- to the guy! To the, 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 um, the, 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 oh god, what, what the fuck is that thing? Hello? A furry animal? That is not furry. That is not. That is also a furry animal. That is a girl. Hello. Anyway, um, no, I was gonna say I can take it to the guy who, the, the, the cups guy. He, he has the raven and then I can challenge him to a game of cups and win the raven back for this, for the, the sailor. I wonder if she's caught sailor. anything today. Uh, hello, I have a question. If the character moves on without asking the other questions, do they not know that information, then? Sorry if I'm dumb. Wait, what? <laughs> I need- I need context here. If the character moves on without asking the other questions... Like, when you're in the game dialogue? Uh, do they not know that information, then? Uh, what information are you talking about, and in what context are we talking about here? The trilogy is really fun to play, and there is new main characters in the sequels. Oh, neat! Yeah, I thought so, because the... I, I've seen the promo art for, um, the second game. Square jaw and broad shoulders. A real farm boy. Quite a sexy one, too. Oh, my. Yes, game dialogue. Um, I mean... Asking the other questions that all that information then? Uh I wanna say if you're talking about April, like if I don't ask certain questions and then the game moves on, uh you have to like the game prompts you usually with some things of like if you need to know something, you have the option to go back if you missed it. Um so I think regardless the game will let you know certain things. Uh, yeah. It's a game where you have to get specific information from the dialogue to continue, you can't proceed blindly. Yeah, 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 sorry. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. Yes, you can miss parts of the game dialogue. Sometimes you'll get more chances to ask it later. In some cases, the game moves on. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the really important stuff to move the game forward is always, like, available to you. So, an example that actually I came across was that I played... Uh, la last time I played this game, I streamed it. I, um... I got to a port where I needed an item, and I actually had had to acquire this item. I had the option to acquire it from the very get-go of the game, but and like, but the thing was, what I didn't do was look at the item, which would indicate that I had to do something to it. I just kind of got the item, and I was like, cool, I have this item now, and I just left it. So, I didn't have that knowledge. April did, but like... I didn't know what to do. So then I had to look it up and I got some help from chat where they were like, no, you have to look at the monkey item, the monkey toy, so then you can take the eye from the monkey because when April looks at the monkey, she goes like, oh, his eye's a little funky. And then that gives you the idea of like, oh, I should I should tamper with this thing. Um, but I was able to go back. It wasn't like a, like, a, like a lock state or anything. It wasn't like a hard lock. I'm gonna go pet the animal. That makes sense, Good. thanks beast. His hide feels like a turtle's. 
softer. Baby. What yeah, a good baby. Good boy. Good boy. No problem. Well, look, Pesp, do you play, um, do you play a lot of, uh, point-and-click adventures? You can have a lot of items and know how to use it, but didn't get the right answers to your questions and can't proceed. Yeah, but they usually always give you an opportunity to go back and get it. Alright, let's go challenge this, uh, okay, well, actually, I go to a lot of places. I feel like I need to go to the Cups Man because now I have money. So I can challenge him to a game of Cups. I'll try that. Uh, he isn't here. Maybe I'll go talk to the, uh, the head priest, too. He's just chilling up there. Cups! Maps! Get your maps! <laughs> Alright, Cups Handler. Dude, I have coin. I'm gonna save. Just in case I'm on the wrong track. There we go. Mr. Cups, man. Kajita have coin if you have where. I mean the other other way. Kajita have where if you have coin. Let me touch. Oh, God damn. Hey, what? you. What? What's going on? Why didn't you deliver any maps yesterday? Oh right, shit. Oops. Hi. I wasn't around. Sorry. Well, there are more maps to be delivered, and my customers are getting very impatient. Did you deliver the map to the Rolling Man? I did, but he didn't pay me. Yes, sir. All right, let me see his signature, and I'll give you your next delivery. Okay. Oh, hold on. The cat is on my... Oh, hi, cat. Hello. Is it cuddle time? Come here. Come here, kitten. Meow. Come here. Oh, fluffy baby. She's in my lap. Good baby. How you doing, Bo? Yeah, good baby. You forgot about your job! Lol, yeah. Runaway Trilogy is also a good point-and-click trilogy, one of my favorites. Ooh, nice. I'd like to play more point-and-clicks. Like, more point-and-click adventure games, I should say. I've played a lot of point-and-clicks, just point-and-clicks, but... Alright, uh, let me show you the... Delivery list, if it will let me click, please. Please. There we go. Mm -hmm. Good cat. Here's your next delivery, a map of the Northlands to a ton Lyak staying at the Journeyman Inn. Oh. And be quick about it. She's been waiting since the day before yesterday. Oh, heck. Sorry. Alright, well, good to know. Uh... Nice to know I can go there. I want to take on this man. Wait, really? Oh, wait, oh. I have to put it at- oh, I'm stupid. I thought I'd, like, give it to him, but I have to just put it on the table. Table! Let's play some cups. Let's fucking go. Here's my coin. Now, how do I play? I place one cup on top of your coin, like so. Okay. Then, I shuffle them, like so. Okay, which one was it, though? Oh, God. Now, you guess which cup hides your coin. If you get it right, you win another coin. Three in a row, and you win a prize. But I don't know which one I placed. Ah, shit. Okay. Uh, I used to. I actually played this game a long time ago. 2004? Oh. But I saw you playing, and that question never occurred to me. Huh. Oh. Anyway, I love this game series. Well, it's a good question. It's it's interesting. I actually like that this is one of the point-and-click adventure games that I played where it's... where you don't have that, that hard lock state. Like, they do give you the opportunity. You just kind of have to think about it if you're kind of stuck. Um, th this one? It's gotta be this one. Looks like you've got the wrong cup. Oh. It happens. A one in three chance, you know. But with coin in your pocket, you can always try again. So, do I actually get rid of... Do, do my coins deplete? I need to look at them. I don't think I have an amount of coins. I got a whole handful of these. a whole hand. Alright. So I need to see where she puts them. What if I put them like... What if I pick a cup? What if I say, hey, put it on this left cup? I'll try one more. Keep your eyes on the cup. Okay. Oh shit, I missed now, it again. You guess which cup hides your coin. If you get it right, you win another coin. Three in a row, and you win a prize. Why does it feel like this is like a hint? I have 
absolutely no idea. Maybe I have to do so something. Just take a wild guess and choose. I mean, I know he also cheats. This one. You got the wrong cup again. Sorry. Try one more, and perhaps this coin will bring you luck. Okay. Cat, I need to use my mouse. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. All right. Fine. Oh no, cat! Don't. Uh, sitting like on directly on my mouse. Ugh. There we go. Click, 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 click. Yeah, so I haven't played, uh, so this is the first time I'm playing this game. I have all of them, and I hope to stream all of them. Uh, get off the screen. Uh, try far right. I'll try one more. Keep your eyes on the cup. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's always now, the same animation. You guess which cup hides your coin. If you get it right, you win another coin. Damn. Three in a row. And you win a prize. Well, this is going to be wrong. It's got to be this one. You got the wrong cup again. Sorry. Try one more and perhaps this mm. coin will bring you luck. Hmm. It's a talking bird. I wish I could talk to the bird. Can I talk to you? Can I just, like, say hi? How about a game of cups today? Can you tell me again how do I play? Okay, let's go. Sorry, I'm broke. Okay, let's okay, go. let's go. Just place your bet, <clears throat> investment, on the table, and the game will begin. Okay, I think there's a trick to this that I don't quite have, because I could be watching them, but the problem is that it's the same animation every time. So whatever cup I'm looking at, it changes. Could start. It always starts with the same one. The resolution of the pole is kind of strange, not logical. Hmm. Interesting. Can I use my items? I'm gonna try something. Like, if I look at the cup and I pick one, can I use my items? I think so. I'm gonna try something. I'll try one I don't, more. I don't think Keep I can... Keep your eyes on the cup. Because it's always gonna change. Yeah. Now. You guess which cup hides your coin. If you get it right, you win another coin. Three in a row, and you win a prize. If not, I'll think about it. Okay, I can use my items. This is gonna be very silly. Yep. I knew it. Okay. But I still have to pick the right one. Hey, that cup moved. Thought so. Yeah. Mag it's gonna be a, some magnetized screwdriver, because I'm pretty sure it was magnetized. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Wait, that cup moved? Wait, what do I do? Pick it? That cup moved? It's this one, for sure. I don't know. Uh, that's... That's correct, but... Interesting. That's... You used magic, didn't you? You used your magic wand! No, I used a screwdriver. Nah, your amulet didn't light up, did it? No, yeah, you did it. I had a feeling because it was. Ma it's I think impossible. they said it was magnetized, but because that doesn't make much sense because it's. Because nobody's supposed to ever Well, because they were saying iron. Game. They have a name for people like you, sir. Con artist. What? I'm outraged. I'm. I'm outraged. I'm outraged. Whatever. I want my prize. I want that bird. Prize. You don't get a prize for winning once, especially when you're cheating, you cheat. No oh, heck, okay. You want me to call the city guard? I demand a prize. Oh, by the gods of gambling. Here, take by this and leave me By the gods of gambling. Be... Wait, I can't get the bird? Give me the bird. Oh, okay. A calculator? Where did you get this? A calculator? Oh, I don't know. Wanted off some guy who Good got job, it from someone you. else who's supposedly been in stock. It's a worth... I mean, it's a valuable souvenir from the mysterious and elusive world of logic. Huh. Now, would you please let me be? Let someone else play. But yes. I want I want the bird. I can win the bird, can't I? I'm not talking to you, you cheat. Oh, he won't let me. Rude. Alright, so I gotta get the bird some other way. Well, I could go to the pier. Wait, what can I do with this Calculator. Oh, I don't know. Let's look at it. Ah. Strangely enough, 
It's an old-fashioned calculator. Like the ones they used back in, like, the Elizabethan times. Oh, that's incorrect, but that's fine. <laughs> Can I use it there? Maybe I give it to the guy. Like the, the... A powerful item from the planet of science! <laughs> like, what if I show it to somebody and they freak out? There's... I mean, I could take it to the end and I could be like, I can count your money really easily. <laughs> Hi, Step Davers, how you doing? Okay, let's let's head out. I know we still have to do the map thing too. Uh, let's go to the city, and I'm gonna talk to the the sailor. Maybe show him the calculator if that's of interest. I'm still well while I got distracted. Hey, no problem. It happens. I get that. We're making good heckin' progress in this game, it's great. Um... The city green... Oh yeah, that's where I have to go for the map thing. Uh... What if I showed it to Westhouse? What would he say? Hey Westhouse. I got a calculator. Want a calculator? No, he won't care. Okay. You're in the past? I'm in another world. I'm in a world of magic. Uh, here. Oh no, no. This thing is terrifying. I don't like it. Ugh. Okay, no, I want to go small pier. How? Uh, I have. This is the man I wanted to talk to. Uh, eh. Eh. the future is now, old man. Let me give you a shout out. Alright, which game, which clip is this gonna be? Uh... Man of my dad. <laughs> I remember this. I do not consent. Oh no! Oh! It's okay. Man, Man of my dad was spooky. Spooky scary game! It was good, just finished chapter two. Nice! I don't even know how many chapters there are. I know Ares really likes The Wolf Among Us. I'd love to hear some more Mar Oh wait, no, 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 uh... Wait, what did he give me? Something. Tell me about Maritime Stories, old man! I'd love to hear some more Maritime Five Stories. Five chapters! Ooh, nice! You're like, sure, sweetie, close to halfway then. Happy to. What story you be wanting to hear now? Uh, any tale of your exciting adventures will do. Any tale of your exciting adventures will do. I love him so much. You want Ma? Damn be me wooden left ankle. I be having a great old tale to tell yous about how I be to have me wooden pecker. It all began... Yes. You know what? On second oh, thought, no. forget Aww. about it. Okay. Ah. Ah. Would you like a calculator, my friend? Yeah, uh, Man of Dan was definitely later. spookier. I felt like Man of Dan kind of- I... the twist was good, but I didn't like that they kind of, like, kind of hand-fed it to you. Because it was like, oh, the gas must be this, and I was like, oh, that's cool, but I'd, I'd rather figure that out myself, maybe? Um, would you like a calculator? Can you add it to your treasure box? I guess not. Uh, would you like... Coin? Wait, what if I gave him coins so we could win the- and I- Oh, I didn't give him the screwdriver too, I could be like, win back your bird! No. Okay. I guess I don't talk with him yet. Uh, thank you for the lurk! Oop, got a future luck. The Wolf Among Us! I played it today! Nice! Yeah, Mochi's streaming it right now. Uh, she started it on her, um... On her... Uh... Her- her subathon stream, which was last... Wednesday or Thursday. Um, and then she was continuing it today. Yeah, that sucked. Oh no, your your subathon. <laughs> I mean, I got a kick out of it. <laughs> but um, but uh, yeah, little hope. I like the twist. What I didn't love, and now th I haven't played it. I watched a playthrough of it. Was that so? The playthrough I watched. I really like the twist. He didn't that the streamer actually wasn't big on it, but I was like, I actually like this. This is an interesting idea. I didn't suspect it. Um, but he basically saved everybody and was on good terms with most people. 
and it was based on certain choices that he made that actually didn't affect their life or death, but did affect them in the end. Like, like I don't want to get into spoilers or anything, but it sounded like he did he did all the good things and then just got the shit end of the stick because of it. And I was like, what the heck? Because it's trait based and it's really weird. I don't know. She has a calculator. Ekami will be obsessed to give her calculator. <laughs> She has the calculator. Would you like a calculator? I might just bring it to the inn, to be honest. Uh, I mean, there was the person at the Journeyman's Inn. May as well go back. Found out Funcom did a remaster of T The Longest Journey. Oh, I wanted to get it, but it was only on iOS, and it's no longer compatible to a current versions of iOS. No shit, did they really? Man, if it's on iOS, though, that must be... Mm, must be difficult, then. Um, would you like a calculator? I can, you could use it to help your help cover your sales. Okay, get later? No? Okay, let's talk. Let's talk, girl. Oh, I- nope, talk. I have to be on this side to talk with Excuse you. Excuse me? That's yes? Oh, it is you. Yeah, there is somebody who I have to deliver something to. I'm looking for a guest of yours, Tun Lu. I'm looking for a guest of yours, Tun Lyak. Tun Lyak. The sailor? She is looking for work oh, today, I'm afraid. With most of the ships moored to the docks for balance knows how long, it is difficult for sailors to find work. Oh, okay. Do you know when Tun Lyak is expected back? Do you know when Tun Lyak is expected back? I could not tell you, child, but from what I know of the ships in harbor, she will not find one that needs a navigator any time soon. Wait, what? So she's at the ship at the Do harbor. Do you know when Tun Lyak is expected back? I could not tell you, child, but from what she I know of the ships in harbor, she will not find one that needs a navigator any time soon. So she needs a ship. Okay, thank, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. I guess I'll just go back to the docks. You're welcome, child. That's fine. Thanks for the info. Uh, let's go to the docks. I guess I missed her. Uh, pier, city green, be, be, de, be, de. Go to the pier. Uh, oh, uh, maybe you know about her? Hello. Hello, Mr. Nableway. Uh -huh. Bye. <laughs> I forgot about that. Bye. <laughs> so good. Who do I show my calculator to? God damn it. No, don't go that way. No, go, go. Oh my god, April. April, honey. Honey. Okay, don't go to the big boat. Go... Lighthouse. It's a lighthouse. The blue fire is burning bright. A safe beacon... Go to the pier. Okay. Where would she be? She's not at the big boat. Wait, is that the same as the... I think it's the same. Uh, that's the small pier. Okay. Uh... I thought she'd be here. Okay. Breathtaking. Wow, yeah. God, the art in this game is so good. Yeah, that's gotta be the same ship, because that's where the lighthouse is. Yeah. Alright, well, I mean, I can go to the city gates. That's weird. I thought I could... get more out of them. Run as fast as your little legs can take you, April. Uh... Oh, the docks. Wait. Okay, no, it's the same thing. Wait, hello? Are you somebody? Somebody, 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 somebody. I've got a feeling. Can I look at the map? Somebody's following. It's a map of the Northlands. I'm supposed to deliver this to, uh, Tun Lyak, staying at the Journeyman Inn. Who is not there right now? What would I do with a calculator? Do I- oh, do I take it apart? Could do that, I guess. I don't know why I would, but... No. Okay. Could I do with a calculator? I don't think I can- I mean, I could push buttons with this, but... No. Okay. I think I just have the calculator for something. No, 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 don't go that way. 
Where would she be? I guess I could just explore around. She must be somewhere. Not at the city gates, not at the pier. Where's the, what's the city green? We haven't been here. Ooh, pretty. Very fantastical. Flower it's bed. a flower bed. There's plenty of room for more seeds to be planted in there. That's one mother of a plant. I wonder if it's a carnivore. Peculiar house? Door? It looks to have been carved out of a large tree, but the texture of the house is more stone than bark. Hmm. It's a solid oak door. Alright, well, go a knocking. Enter, honored guest, and I would have been with you presently. That voice sounds familiar. Oh, right! The, the creature. Who speaks, who doesn't have a concept of time as I do. Uh, is it coming down? Some of them look to be in English, but I know they're not. It's the Alton language oh, Tobias told me about. The inhabitants are cool. The tongue of oh. magic. Sounds a little disgusting, to be honest. Oh, there he is. Ooh, I like the music. Hi. I'm... I'm here. Hi. Be welcomed, stranger, to my abode. Stranger? Don't you remember me? You invited me here. Just cav casually every living at all times like a boss. Meet, yeah, really. And every moment we part. You are both stranger and friend, April Ryan. What a fascinating I'm sorry, idea for a could you try to be a little less obtuse this time? I have a hard time understanding half of what you say. I will beg for your forgiveness, April Ryan. I had a hard time to make myself understood amongst other peoples. I will pull myself into this moment, difficult as it may be, so that we can communicate and so that you may understand. It is important that you understand, April Ryan, very important. And then April, then you now have to learn their speech patterns. That's the trade-off. Who are you? Uh, thanks for your hospitality. Or no, that might be closing it. Uh, who are who you? Who are you? I am Abnaxus of the Venar, ambassador to the Ired Council in Mercuria. Okay. My people live far from here, and they do rarely visit your kind, and so I am their sole link to humans and Domari. Okay. Why is that? I alone among the Venar am able to focus on a particular moment and thread oh. in time. And so to speak with those who flow with time, like you. Interesting. How do your people perceive time? How do your people perceive time? It is hard to explain. Any moment before this moment and any moment after is the same to me as this one. I have lived already and I am yet to live. Do you understand me? Fascinating. I think so, but how's that possible? Everything is possible, April Ryan. There is magic, and there is science. And between the two, everything is possible. Okay. Can you see the future? Technically. Can you see the future? To me, every moment is the same. There is no future. I can relate moments you have yet to see, and I can unravel possible threads. But remember, the future I see may not be the one into which you walk. Hmm. Moments and threads fluctuate, change. I can remember things that have never come to pass, and I have seen things that will never be. Okay. So you can't tell the future? I would see your possible futures, the likely threads among hundreds. If there was not a veil in time, I would. Okay, what's this veil you keep talking about, Mr. Man? What's this veil you keep talking about? Somewhere, 
ahead, in our path, there is a dark veil through which I cannot pass, past which I cannot see. It is disconcerting to me to be blocked from the moments of my life. How did this veil come to be? It was, no, will be created in chaos, mm -hmm. by chaos, to keep the future hidden. All threads converge on a single point here, beyond the veil, and this will happen only once it is written. Written? Where? Hmm. In the prophecies. I came across these games because I love the Secret World MMO and found out the director of that did these. Oh, Ragnar Thornquist? I was expecting something spookier because of that. What is the Secret World MMO? Do tell me about, uh, about that game. I'm, I'm interested. I don't really play many MMOs, or any really, but I mean, I'm interested. Tell me about your prophecies, good man. Tell me about the prophecies. Words have been written by seers who can discern from all possible threads the threads that are certain to be woven. These words are the prophecies. Hmm. And what do the prophecies say? Prophecies speak of a time when the balance will falter weakened by the assault of chaos and its servants. The moment the veil falls is the moment of uncertainty. The balance may stand, the balance may fall. Hmm. I cannot tell which it will be, and I cannot even see the possibilities, the threads extending from each fork. Hmm. But the prophecies also speak of a savior, as the prophecies usually do. <laughs> One who will bring order to chaos, only to release chaos on the innocent. Oh. One who will restore the balance, only to finally break it. Oh. That doesn't sound like a savior. The word in my tongue is Kanang La. Literally translated, it means the small seed who grew to a tall tree. Hmm. Can I ask you a few questions? Can I ask you a few questions? Yes. Yes? Could you tell me a little about yourself? Could you tell me a little bit about yourself, Obnaxus? Me? About myself? We, the Venar, are not good at speaking of ourselves. We always yes, if you have know time. who we <laughs> are, and so we have no need to tell each other. Well, are you married? Do you have kids? Or perhaps your people don't marry? Yes, we do marry, and we always know who we are to be with, because our future is also our past, <laughs> and so we also know our children even though, according to your reckoning, they have yet to be born. Mm. My wife was, is, will be, the beautiful Abyanda. She lives by the Bay of Fire in the east. She gave birth to our three female children, Abratha, Abalexa, Abpalmana. How long has it been since you last saw them? I see them now, April Ryan. Do not forget I perceive time in a different manner from your kind. I have given them your regards. Hmm. Well, uh, say hi to them for me. Hmm. Uh, the Secret World MMO is a horror-themed uh, MMORPG where you play as a member of a secret society investigating supernatural occurrences across the world. Super ambient, crazy hard puzzle solving, puzzle investigation missions. Oh. There's two versions, the Secret World and the relaunch, Secret World Legends. Secret World Legends is more action-based combat, but more soluble than uh, the Secret World. Or the... Yeah. Uh, really moody, great story. Oh. I like the way he talks. My wife was, is, will be. Yeah, that's really cool. I, I really like these, this, this, these creatures, this species. They're really interesting. That sounds really cool, by the way, Liquidar. That sounds really neat. 
I'll, I'll, I'll feel like I, I gotta look into it. Did, um... I guess Funcom didn't do that. Like, it was just the, like, like Ragnar went and worked on it with another studio? Why did you come here to Mercuria? I was chosen to be ambassador to Ired when I showed a talent for seeing the flow of time from one point to the next. I was trained for a long time in locking myself into a single moment to communicate and understand your world. My people do not normally involve themselves with others, but the Vale has forced us to do so. Why don't the Venar want to involve themselves with humans? In the wrong hands, our knowledge is dangerous. To know of the possible fluctuating futures, this can be a weapon to some who flow with time. Mm. We cannot interfere with your time. We are not allowed. Huh. Who says? The balance. The Guardian. The Guardian watches not only the balance between worlds, but also the balance within. Time is in balance. And if this balance is upset, the Guardian would know. I thought the Guardian was gone. So he is. And that makes it even more crucial to my people that we preserve the balance and not upset it. Chaos is our enemy, April Ryan, and we do our part to keep it at bay, mm -hmm. as do you. Ragnar did it with Funcom, but left Funcom shortly after it released. Oh, interesting. What year was that? I don't actually, I mean, I know, I, I know this game, but I don't actually know how long he was with Funcom. Are you planning on ever going back to your people? Are you planning on ever going back to your people? When we pass through the Vale to the other side and time yet again opens up, I will return to my people. I look forward to that day. Hmm. I miss my people, and it is hard to speak with your kind. It makes me tired. <laughs> I know what you mean. I'm a stranger here, too. You will bring us through the Vale, April Ryan, and then we can both leave this place and go home. Where is your home, Abnaxus? Across the border mountains and north, to where the forests are evergreen, and where in winter the land turns white. Nice. Uh, Secret World released in 2012. Oh, okay. It's a good long time to be with the company. That's fair. Do you know Father Tobias? Do you know Father Tobias? Tobias is a faithful servant of the balance, and he is a good man. He leads the sentinel down a narrow path, but he never wavers. Hmm. We are friends. So, I can trust him? Trust is a concept which often puzzles me. Amongst my people, there is never distrust. Mm -hmm. We always know the truth, mm -hmm. but amongst your people, amongst those who flow with time, trust is important, a fragile thing. Mm -hmm. But yes, yes, I do think Tobias is to be trusted fully. I cannot see beyond the veil, but up to that point there is no thread in which he betrays your trust, April Ryan. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of a man named Cortez? Have you heard of a man named Cortez? No, I have not. But that does not mean I do not know him. Names are often fleeting, April Ryan. I was gonna say, Brian knew him by a different He's name. He's my... Well... Some have called him my mentor, others a nutcase. I'm not sure which it is, but I'm leaning towards the former. Hmm... Your mentor? He is a shifter as well? No, I don't think so. He doesn't travel. Shift between Stark and Arcadia. And right now he's being experimented on. I do on. not see him <laughs> in my life, April Ryan. I do not know him. Beyond the veil, perhaps, but not before. Hmm. Thanks, Abnaxus. You are always welcome, April Ryan. Cool. Uh, I need some help in my quest. I need some help in my quest. Yes, you did. <laughs> I did? And what did you answer? That I will help you as much as I can, but in the end... I'm on my own. 
I've heard that one before. Oh my goodness, there's lots to talk about. What do you know about dragons? What do you know about dragons? Dragons! I do not know much about the kin, but I do know a little. Perhaps it will help you, perhaps not. The Dryak kin came to this world a very, very long time ago. Before the dawn of man, before the divide. Mm -hmm. The Venar had yet to learn to be outside time. And there were few other peoples on Earth. The kin played an important part in the divide, in separating magic from science, and in the founding of the fathers, the sentinel, to watch over the balance. It is said that after the divide of the four dry kin that came to Earth, two went to Stark and two to Arcadia. Right, okay. But that was a long time ago, 12,000 of your years. I do not know what has become of them since. That is fair. Uh, you don't know where I may find these dry kin? You don't know where I may find these dry kin? No, the white of the dry kin, the mother, has, according to legend, been cited. The tale of the silver spear of Gorimon speaks of the mother and her child. Hmm. Though I think this is but a tale, and far from the truth. Is this going to be like a Wheel the of Time situation where she's a dragon reborn? <laughs> yes, unfortunately I do not have this book myself, and I do not know of anyone who does. Oh, rip. What about the other dragon, the other dragonkin? What about the other dragon, the other dragonkin? Of the dry kin, I only know of the mother, the white of the kin, although I have heard tell of a god who fell from the sky into the ocean a great long time ago. Mm. But this may also be just a tale. Okay. Interesting. How else? What else do you know about this god who fell from the sky? What else do you know about this god who fell from the sky? Only what I have told you. Someone with greater knowledge of the ocean and the creatures that live beneath its surface may be able to tell you more. Uh, have you heard of a disc that works as a key to the Guardian's Realm? Have you heard of a disc that works as a key to the Guardian's Realm? Yes, but very little. It has been spoken of in the I Read Council only recently. Brought to attention by the Tyran Ambassador. He wished to know where it is kept. And what was the answer? No one at the Council knows or admitted to knowing. Mm. And the Ambassador was asked to speak with the Sentinel, which he is unlikely to concede to. Mm. The Tyran are allied with the Vanguard, and so are in political and ideological opposition with the Sentinel. Mm. I know Vestrum Tobias. He would not speak a word with the Tyran, nor the Vanguard. Mm. Not unless it was to challenge their philosophies. Makes sense. So you don't know where I can find the disc? So you don't know where I can find the disc? No. Ask Vestrum Tobias. Okay. Uh, do you know anything about a rift leading to the Guardian's Realm? Do you know anything about a rift leading to the Guardian's Realm? I have heard speak of such a thing. I believe it was where the tower was built and the divide created. When the earth was one, it might still be open. Hmm. Any idea where it is? I am afraid the Venar were never very involved in the affairs of the Sentinel, nor mm. took any part in the Divide except to agree to the necessity of it. They kind of just kept we to their own, eh? We had little choice mm. but to concede. Mm. We are a magical people. We need the balance, because we would not, could not, survive without magic. Mm. Uh, how would I go about fighting chaos? How would I go about fighting chaos? You cannot fight chaos. It is not so simple. 
To oppose chaos, one must return order to that which has been affected by chaos, and thus reduce its powers. Mm. But this is not something everyone can do. Only those ordained by the balance can embark on such a dangerous task and survive. Hmm. Okay. That's about it for now. That's about it for now. I am glad I could be of assistance, April Ryan. Thanks for your hospitality. Thanks for your hospitality, Obnaxus. Goodbye. Blessings of the balance to you, April Ryan. And may your journey have been a long and fruitful one. I love him. He's so cool. Bye. All right. Because I can't go up to your study. Oh, oh. A seat. Can I look at it? Or touch it? Well, I can sit. I can just take a seat. Well, isn't that nice? Sometimes you just need a breather. Alright, well, I think we'll head to... Whoa. Uh, Tobias. If that's the case, because he has some info about the disc. Interesting. Uh... I guess I gotta go here. Go in here. Interesting. So I'll have to figure out what I'm to do with the calculator. Uh, I can talk to Naxus anytime. Hey, there's Tobias. Okay, and let's read that journal entry while we're at it. When I asked Obnaxious about the Dryak Kin, he didn't really know much about them except for a story he'd heard about a god who fell from the stars into the ocean a long time ago. Whatever this so-called god may be, it's a fair chance it's got something to do with the... the... with this... with these? With these. It's got something to do with these dra dragonkin creatures. It might be a good idea to run this by somebody who knows more about the myths and the legends of the sea. Oh! The... 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 The, the sailor? He has tales of the sea. Is that too far of a reach? I'm just gonna try it, and if not, I'm just gonna go back to Tobias. Because, I mean, Tobias would also know about the myths. So would Cortez, but I can't really get to Cortez right now because he's, uh... He's kind of tied up at the moment. It might be a far reach, but maybe I'm right? Uh, let's go to the pier. Let's go to... Small pier. Mr. Man! Hello again, old man. Eh? Eh? It be you. Okay, what what prompts? I'd love to hear more maritime I'd stories. Love to hear I just I need to stories. I need to see if it triggers anything. Sure, sweetie, I'd be happy to. What story you be wanting to hear now? Do you know a god who fell into the sea? Yeah! Have you heard a story about a god who fell from the sky into the sea? Have you heard a story Perfect. about a god who fell from the sky into the sea? Aye, that I be having. Although that be a story of man-eating merman who ravaged the sea of songs, swallowing sailors whole and spitting their bones out to dry. Mm. Are you sure you be up for hearing such a cool tale? I've heard worse. <laughs> Uh, ye be a tough little lady, be ye not? All right. Well, like I be telling you, the sea of song surrounding the island kingdom of Gien be a treacherous sea where countless vessels have disappeared without a trace. Now, this be near thirty long winters ago, mind, during me second term as captain of the trader, Lucky Lady. Mm. We've been crossing the Sea of Songs for two seasons. 
and with yet to be seeing any sign of the dreaded bloodthirsty mermen who lurk in the waters off the Guienne coast. Mm. That night we be laying still with our sails down, awaiting the wind to pick up and carry us north to Mercuria, when we be hearing a frightful scream a coming from the port side of the Lady Luck. I be the first to rush over and account to me having me armed down the apple barrel. We just been to Eras to pick up 100 barrels of Bro, sweet I was gone for like 20 minutes. Apples. How are you right where I left you? No, I actually went to another There's place. I just had to come back here. <laughs> I be there just in time to witness Sally Barney's horrible fate. Welcome back, by the way. Give me in the water, screaming and waving his arms. Because I, I couldn't and the water access the story him before. be red as a midwife's arms after a grueling bath. I, I was so picture. concerned for a second. Oh, no. <laughs> Then I be seeing, I glimpse a large, shiny, sleek body be pulling Sally down and mm. swallow him whole. It be the merman come to claim the body of the sailor who dared across their sea. Mm. Are you sure it wasn't a shark? <laughs> what? <laughs> Big fish with sharp teeth and dead black eyes and a large triangular fin on top? Ye mean a black-eyed snapjaw? Hmm. I guess it could have been. But it be no snapjaw. It be the dreaded merman of the Sea of Songs. Where does the sea god fit into all of this? I, we talked to a very talkative I person during those that. minutes. We did. You see, the bloodthirsty merman be not only happy with cannibalizing sailors, but they be sacrificing their own to their dark old sea god. Actually, unless the mermen are human, they wouldn't really be cannibals if they ate humans. True. Blood sacrifices to the oh. dreaded god who lives on the bottom of the sea. Mm. Aye, that be the tooth of the mermen, fierce and bloodthirsty cannibals of the Sea of Songs. Mm. Uh, thanks. Good story. Aye. Okay. I'm all storied up for now, thanks. I'm all storied out for now. Thanks. Good story, bro. Hey, you tell me when you want more, right? Interesting. Uh, see you later. See you later. If I not be dead, I... Hmm. Dude, I keep forgetting to turn off my ring light. This is why I need glasses. Oh, no. <laughs> I need glasses because my vision's terrible. I mean, I have glasses, but... I choose to not wear them because I'm a fool. What is it with old sailors and long, pointless stories? I did manage to get some useful information out of the old man, however. He claims that the god that fell into the sea, the one Obnaxious told me about, is worshipped by bloodthirsty cannibal mermen who live in the Sea of Songs around the island of Guien. I think that's how it's spelled. The fact that they're not necessarily cannibal just because they eat humans didn't really deter him from finishing his story. <laughs> I'm having my doubts about how bloodthirsty these creatures really are as well. Seems like the monsters he described in his story could be some kind of shark instead of a merman. Whatever the truth, if anybody knows about this god who fell from the stairs, the stars, it would be the merman. Hmm. Would I be meeting fish people at some point? That'd be kind of cool. Alright, so I think I'll just go, I'll go back to where I was originally. I'll go back to see Tobias. Uh, oh, I messed up. I hacked up, I'm sorry! I meant to go this way to the pier, not to the boat. Keep doing that. I'll go towards the city. 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 Go talk to Vestrum Tobias. Figure out who the fuck I have to use my calculator on. <laughs> Just a girl with a calculator who wants to use it. Okay. Marketplace. To the cathedral? To the to the temple. To the temple. Move those legs, April. Okay. Go to Tobias. The man at the telter. Okay. So oh. It's actually quite late for me. <laughs> I need to make dinner. I usually end at 9.30, but I was having too much fun, and I really liked hanging out with y'all. But I think this is a good place to save.
and we'll continue where we left off last time. Let's see if it'll let me save. Save? Will you let me save? Oh, it does this every time. Uh... Oh, good! Someone followed me. I'll see that in a minute. I'm actually... Save. <laughs> let me try this again. Thank you very much. Oh, Liquid R. Thanks a bunch, man. I appreciate that. You know what? I'm just going to create a new save file. Fuck it. Um, yeah. I'll be back with this game again.